mic is working <laughs> because sometimes I start streaming and my mic is not working, so whatever. But I am back. Last time I left off, I had just completed the quest at the Temple of the Morning Star. Now I am at Mistral and I'm about to speak to Lazarus. This one has heard reports. You've kept busy. Good. You fit in now more than ever. How did things go? Clearly, you were meant to help us out. John and Jod have a sense of humor, yes? And, of course, Raz thinks discretion deserves a reward. Keep your wits about you, my new friend. Mistral's houses cast deep shadows, and vipers work. Mistral is the jewel of the Southern Seas, a free port with trade ties to half of Tamriel. Ambassadors from the Dominion arrived weeks ago to negotiate its admission into the Alliance. Unfortunately, things have not gone smoothly. Kenarthi's Roost has an old treaty with the Maumar. They claim the Dominion fleet intended to invade their home waters. It's a sticking point in the negotiations. The Sylvanar could use some help. Find him. Give him this token. He'll know you are a friend. Without Mistral's support, the Dominion will have precious little defense on its southern coasts. But we are not here to conquer anyone. The Sylvanar knows this. He is in the Chancery, seeking a peaceful resolution here. The High Elves, Wood Elves, and Khajiit stand united under the Eagle Banner. We secure our borders against invaders from the Covenant and Pact, but it is no easy task. And Queen Irene leads our dominion, of course. He is the voice and spirit of the Wood Elves. They say he is, was, and will be their greatest leader, whatever that means. This one knows him as an unrivaled diplomat. He is also the Dominion's best hope of resolving this matter peacefully. Razumdar is just a simple Khajiit. He seeks the best for all the people of Tamriel. Also, a saddle that won't pinch the tail. One day. I swear, it feels like I've been away from ESO for so long, because I remember where you used to have to buy everything, and now, they like I said, with the reward system, with leveling, and I even leveling now, it's actually a lot faster, because it used to take forever to level, so, and I've only been away for a few months, and I decided to start back again when they announced Somerset and to permanently make my switch to Xbox instead of playing on a PlayStation 4 but I mean they're definitely going in a good direction because I don't see another Elder Scrolls game coming out anytime soon while Elder Scrolls Online is so popular sell some of this stuff. Um, Story match. I'll keep the 
this one does more damage. to be in the military. Does the Dominion have swords? <laughs> what gave you that idea? Seriously, sit down. I deserve it, remember? <laughs> Coward! You weren't there. You would have fled too if you'd seen what they asked us to do. Both of you, calm down. Lolo, do they? I don't know. Sometimes. They have a lot of gold. When they hire mercenaries, it's to fight someone they can't be bothered with or to chop an enemy down to size. If there's anything left, you're paid well. If there isn't. I actually have to go back and get my writ certifications because I've been on Carnarty's route. So I think I'm, well, I'm not going to do that right now. I want to finish questing, but I think when I, um, next time I'm going to go and finish getting my certifications. Because I, I am only certified in provisioning, provisioning right now, so... That's the only thing that sucks, the ability bar. It doesn't give you much room on a console to... I'm going to need that since I use staffs. So I'm going to have to... I'll just get rid of this one. That's why I was mentioning actually before too, because one of my biggest issues was that motifs, they were not account wide, they were only by, um, her character, and I love how, because when I played before, this was not an option, so it kind of like bring, makes motifs account wide kind of, and I really like it. A lot. And it kind of reminds me of, um, tra of um, Transmogs and I'm um, Wild wow too. Because if you come across different styles, so you can going? do that. But this I'm is what it, it does I'm remind me of. But I really you like that because oh, then you don't feel no. frustrated about starting a new character like with her. Six. That seems low. Fag. This was after three drams of white eye and a flagon of moon sugar double. You're lucky to be alive. <sighs> I forgot. They mix brews with moon sugar here. Yes, and in most Kajiti ports. Now, let's think of a way out of this mess, shall we? <laughs> And one thing I'm a, I'm going to do differently on Xbox than I did on the Blind. Hey, uh, hold on. Every one of these sea elves is a serpent waiting to strike. We should have cleansed this place of Mawimer scum the moment we arrived. Safely caged. 
can take them all. Why did the Sylvanar negotiate with these filthy Maomer? Those pirates are a stick in the High Elf eye. They capture our merchant ships and raid our settlements. If I had any say, we'd negotiate with a sword at their throats. Not as long as the Sylvanar confuses diplomacy with capitulation. He's inside with the rest of them, pretending this won't end in bloodshed. Go, see this farce for yourself. Some of our homes were damaged in the storm, and a great many rats have set upon our crops. While we have the rats in hand, we would inquire as to when we might expect help. None of us at Windcatcher Plantation are skilled architects. While a few of us can make simple repairs, we cannot fix everything without the help of Mistral. We will do what we can while we wait for your word. Ever your servant, Slides. I also like to read a lot of the stuff too because it does add to the lore and I love Elder Scrolls lore so I won't read everything all the time but a lot of the time I will. Your pardon friend, the Dominion's arrival on Kanathi's roost has upset the locals. It falls on me to smooth the waters. Please, help yourself to food or drink. I'm happy to speak with you once this matter is settled. Most unexpected. It's a mutual friend. May I ask, what brings you to Mistral? Then perhaps you can advise me on a small matter. The Maoma have a treaty with Kanathi's Roost. This is nothing to fear. A treaty is something I can work with. Yet neither Ambassador Ulondil nor Headwoman Harani will produce a copy. Indeed, why not? It would be indecorous to suggest the treaty is anything but actual and sound, yet I fear it won't present itself without a more active line of inquiry. Would you be my voice in this with Ambassador Ulondil and Headwoman Harani? Exactly. A chorus of requests may succeed in carrying the tunes. Harani in particular seems eager to see this resolved, though I fear the Dominion presence binds her hands. But I'll leave you to it. It's hard to keep track of the new faces since the hurricane, but I don't believe we've met. Welcome to Mistral. May your stay here be full of warm winds and soft sand. And I told him the mere act of doing so would complicate matters with our longtime Maomer allies. They take great offense to the Dominion's claims upon our island. Look around you. What great armies do you see? Our survival depends on knowing when to fight, and when to please. The treaty brought us prosperity for generations. I will not be the one to break it. We upheld our treaty with the people of Kanathi's Roost for generations. And this is how they repay our kindness? We will not allow High Elf thieves to gain a foothold in our territorial waters. By all rights, this is our island. Harani's people occupy it with our blessing. 
If she breaks the treaty, so breaks our troops. We'll take back our island, and the Khajiit will pay the price. We keep a copy on an island far from here. I see no reason to send for it. I won't allow High Elf Warfrats another chance to take our rightful lands. Why don't you bother her? This one thinks you have come to make a deposit, yes? Oh, that's what I love. I was thinking ahead, so I did put my extra motifs in here. So I'm going to learn some of these. Well, I can't learn a lot of these, but... I almost forgot I put those in my bank too. Let me use buy some more crown crates so <laughs> it's the luck of the draw if I would even get that one There is a motif that I collected on my PlayStation account that I love. It was quite a few rare ones. They pop up every now and then. And I'm sure it will come around again. So I guess I'll just... Because I do have a monthly... I pay the monthly subscription so I don't have to buy everything like I did on, my, on the other platform. So hopefully it'll pop up so I can purchase it. Or I can find someone selling it for a decent price. Any luck securing a copy of the treaty? Then there's little chance of a compromise. I'll call a break in formal talks until everyone calms their nerves. You understand the stakes, yes? It's why I ask you to take a more active role in locating the treaty. I don't do so lightly. I can't allow the Dominion's first act on Kanathi's roost to be one of conquest. I understand our mutual friend prefers the rum served at a nearby tavern. Perhaps he would have ideas on securing a copy of the treaty. It's a name, a title, and our holy city. Quite an honor to carry around such an important word and the occasional burden in its confusion of outsiders. Not even the Green Lady calls me by my given name. Edelorn doesn't roll off the tongue, I suppose. 
And Sylvanar. Seems like it's been such a short while, but the wrinkles on my face tell me differently. Or did you mean as Dominion Envoy? I've taken on diplomatic tasks for our fledgling alliance since its inception. So, not very long at all. A freshly grown, fruited out blemish. On behalf of the Bosman people, it's my goal to keep it that way. If you speak with the Green Lady, don't mistake her manner as distaste for the Dominion. She simply misses our home of Bainwood. She sustains me, and I her. Together, we are the aspirations of the Bosma people given form. Put simply, she is the love of my life. Also, she grows ill-humoured when I gush about her with an earshot. I'd best say no more. No wine. Stringy meat. My beloved Sylvanar calling these squabbling children instead of warming our bed. If there's a more tiresome place in all of Tamriel, I haven't found it. Okay, they, they must be outside, but I forgot I have to come up here and do something. I switched between first person and third person boring and looking around, but when I am fighting I prefer third person so I can see everything a little bit better and maneuver a lot better. I remember I used to play Marvel at its slavering maw. <laughs> I remember I used to play in first person what? all the time. Poor dog. Be disgusted <laughs> by its cold oozing nose. <laughs> in Daggerfall Packs of these horrible monsters roam the streets at night and prey upon the unwary. My own father, Divine Satan Song, was torn to pieces by just You think this one drinks on the job? Good. Then so will everyone else. What is the word, my new friend? Ulandil certainly won. His viper tongue is sharp. But Harani can't because her copy was stolen. It only takes three drinks to loosen the tongue of the Chancery clerk, if you were curious. A good question. Raz answers it with an interesting bit of trivia. Ulandil posted a guard at his quarters the day of the theft. His subtleties rivaled only by his pleasant personality. Oh, and it's five drinks for embassy staff. Six puts them out. Someone needs to slip into Marmor Embassy, find a way past the guard, and rifle through Ulandil's private quarters. Oh, and do it without bloodshed that could provoke war with the Marmor. In case he was not clear, Raz is talking about you. The pragmatist in this one says it's because you have no firm connection to the Dominion. The optimist says it's because you have proven yourself more than capable already. When you have the treaty, Meet both of us at the bridge. Oh, and another thing I do, I love about this game too. Whenever you enter a tavern or something similar like this, I love how there's always someone singing and playing music and stuff. I just love the feel of that. If you can't tell, I love everything this one sells is fresh. So much about not only old. Elder Scrolls Online, but Elder Scrolls. Period. See if there's some recipes I need to know. Buy this one. Tear the flesh from your bones. 
as part of slavery law. My only issue is that the guild. There's not a lot of interaction with guild guild members, and you can't really. I don't know how it is on the PC, but you can't really see who is online, what everyone is doing, what area they are in, and stuff like that. That's my only issue. Outside of that, I really have no big issues with Elder Scrolls Online. I just wish, I just wish interaction with guild members and stuff was a lot different. It was, I wish it was better. I noticed like a lot of small changes even like with the equipment and they give you which race the I mean because I could tell by the, the design but I like how they name it now like this staff is a Khajiit staff it's, a, it's made with their material and so forth I like that I mean they were little changes but big changes someone I because I actually played actually um was in the beta um when before ESO even came out I remember playing it and initially I felt indifferent because coming from Skyrim to ESO online it feels different up to it so much and since I started playing during um Oblivion it's like I mean I still, there are definitely charms for the individual console games, but to play online with other people, and I know a lot of people won't share playing like Skyrim and stuff too, and I hope they do that. Well, with they probably will never do it for Skyrim, but with like a new newer Elder Scrolls game, which probably won't be here until like probably maybe Cause Skyrim came out in like 2011, so. I would hope, but I wonder where the next Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls game would take place because I thought it would be Somerset, but if they're bringing it out on for, um, ESO, then maybe they won't. Maybe they will. I don't know. Can I help you? Let's see if they have some cheap motifs for sale before I start questing again. They're not that expensive. Hold on. High of style. I haven't bought any motifs. Well, she's high of the. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I just kind of like went numb brained right there. I'm like, hold on. How do I know that? Okay. So, I mean. But the beauty of even though they have the whole new armor thing going, I still would prefer to buy the motifs. And a lot of times you can buy them, they're not as expensive. So, hold on. Okay. I don't have that much gold, so I'll just buy this one. I already have the wood elf. Let me see if I can buy another one, Brandon. I am a big collector and a big former, so, and I love to go after achievements. I like to do everything in a game, so, 
I don't, I'm not one of those people that want to level up quickly and do in-game stuff. I want to experience everything in the game. Because what's the point of paying for, what's the point of paying for a game and not enjoying it? So, I am definitely not one of those people who like to level up really fast. I like to enjoy the game. And I like the fact that each zone has, like, their own in-game content. Like, this one has the very first um, expansion that came out. Then more one has their own. Somerset will have their own. And you don't have to rush. You can just take your time. So, I love that. Okay. Oh, ah, that goes to roost and the dominion. Together, we'll achieve unity. It'll be a few minutes. Everything is so still. Don't the now more kind of remind you of what's they your step, there. Groundwalker? The um, oh my God, the Falmor. Their look looks really similar. Actually, let me make that because I do have to find. I'll just make it active. Are you lost? Ambassador Ulandil's quarters aren't open for visitors. None of your business. Go bother the clerk. He doesn't know when to shut up either. Everything is so... Ambassador Ulondil isn't here, and if he was, he'd be far too busy to entertain the likes of you. That's what I've been wondering. He spices his rum with moon sugar, you know. I'm sure one of the servants brings it to him. If I catch him sleeping at his post again, I'll inform the ambassador. Floors that don't sway, sand that creeps into boots, bugs the size of anchors. May the gods... So, he's actually doing his job? Most of the time he's writing love letters to some pretty face in town. Zadi or Zami or something. He's a fool in a crow's nest, searching the horizon for any sign of her love. <laughs> I will... I guess because visually, I love how they look, but let me, hold on.
Okay, there it is. Are you lost? Ambassador Ulandil's quarters aren't open for visitors. Do you think I take drinks from strangers? Oh, I guess that little barnacle is all right. So what is that? Don't cause trouble. A spring in your staff. Did you know a sense of accomplishment can alter one's stride? You learn to notice it in others. This Sylvanar is certainly being watched by the Maomar. You should inform him the treaty is safe. He will know what to do next. The Sylvanar and the Green Lady are being put up in the Armorer home. Uh, this one recommends you knock before entering. Green Lady gets jumpy at silent approach. At a quick glance, there are holes in the treaty. When the Sylvanar worries at them, he'll tear a hole in the Malmer's side. The treaty, of course. Not Ambassador Ulandil. Though, <laughs> that would... <laughs> Never falls, all sooner says. Time for you to leave. I no. him like this what did you see answer me then you know nothing a thousand curses on this wretched island they've taken my beloved none who survive the day I am the unerring bolt once loosed I cannot stop till I pierce my quarry's eye Harani knows her own city if she won't tell you who did this I'll shorten her tail until she does now go go
Dahara would not let it tear the flesh from your bones. Marvel at its slavering maw. Oh, yeah. What do you want? Be detested by its cold, oozing nose. Not again. Please. I understand what the Sylvanar desires, but I already told you, we cannot provide him with our copy of the treaty. Did? But he was just here. What happened? How awful. Who would harm such a peaceful creature? My guards saw nothing. We doubled the watch to ensure safety. I cannot abide the Sylvanar's murder in my town. I'll shut down the port if I have to. None sets sail until his killer is brought to justice. Of course. I hereby declare you a deputy of the Mistral Guard. No door shall be barred to you. On my desk, you will find the most recent reports from the Mistral Guard. You are welcome to review them for any inconsistencies that could lead to the killer's capture. The Sylvanar murdered? These treacherous Khajiit have plotted with the Mawamer to slay our noble envoy. How dare you! The Sylvanar was our guest. You go too far, Vice Reeve. Outrageous! More Dominion treachery! I will conduct my own investigation. No sea rat will show me up. I'll get to the bottom of this myself. The other thing about reading out loud, too, is <laughs> I might mispronounce some words or two. So sometimes if I see something that I know. <laughs> yeah, so if I know I am going to butcher a name, I'll probably just read it to myself. And sometimes that's the best, best approach. My own father, Divine Save His Soul, was torn to pieces by just such a pack. Okay, it's that. Khajiit. Talking about the dog again. You want what we're offering, don't you? Then talk to Husak about the secret ingredient that makes his brew so good. Kirk has any sense, he'll find it. Never mind the person standing right there. <laughs> Even though, yeah. We assume the first anchor chain is cut. Apply pressure to Mother Tiger to denounce the unwelcome visitors. We observe unwelcome visitors recovering from the storm. 
cut the second anchor chain immediately. Watchful surf serpent remains offshore. At the signal, we shall prepare the tempest. Yeah, I'm going to go quickly to Alduin so I can sell some of this stuff. Oops. I do notice, like, lately since the servers have been more crowded, loading times take a little bit longer. So hopefully the loading time for Alduin doesn't take a long time, but... That was long, but it wasn't as bad. Because you know when it's really bad, it'll have a mess it is. This may take a while. <laughs> end up taking, like, definitely like a minute or so. And I think after I'm done questing on Karnarthi's Roost and I get that achievement, I'm probably going to start playing the main quest line for this zone. And that ties in with the Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild too. Because I noticed my first time around beating um, the main storyline for the zone is that when you do that, I wasn't unless I did something wrong. I wasn't able to go back and do like the quest lines for the Fighters Guild and stuff like that because it ties in with the main storyline. So.
understand. If you change your mind, I'll be here. I'm not gonna do that quest, and I'm not even going to accept it yet. Over here. No, I'm not starting the Dark Brotherhood quest yet either. It's funny she's there now instead of. But I guess it makes more sense for her to be there. I don't understand why everyone's so upset. Since when is it a crime to pretend to be one of the Queen's tax collectors? Huh? our hands into strange cookie jars, have we? Show me what you have. I'm a laundry. Oh, you can sell up to 50 things this time around now? Or was it always 50 items per day? And it goes up or something. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Those two alone, because I'm not gonna do the Thieves Guild or the Dark Brotherhood quest. I will eventually. There's just so much to do in this game and you can find yourself hopping from one thing to another so easily because it's so much to do. And I actually enjoy the Dark Brotherhood quest. Honestly, I, I did the first quest for the Thieves Guild. I didn't get very far, but that's because I got sidetracked by doing the Dark Brotherhood quest. I'm not just discovering this and I was just here. My only... <laughs> okay. I really wish this looked more like an ocean because it is an ocean. Like, I wish it had waves. But I guess... Maybe? I don't see... I don't know. That, that just annoys me a little bit. I'm like, why are we by an ocean and there are no waves? Looks like... Even a lake has waves. Just saying. The inspector checked my cargo already. There were no problems. Where do you need to go? I have business in Canarthi's roost. 
I can take you to Eagle Strand at no charge. But do not mention me to the locals, yes? I value my... obscurity. I'm just now noticing. I'm going to end this stream here. I will honestly probably a little bit later because it's going to snow a lot here. So it's not like I'm going to be doing anything anyway. So, and I'm really enjoying this quest line because I haven't, you know, questing Narcissus Smith forever. Thank you for watching and I will see you a little bit later today. I'm